Alright, hello. It's my uh, car drawing video. So, well, not in video, but this is my uh, material video, what you need to have in order to get a pretty decent car drawing done. So, alright, here we go. First thing you probably want to get is uh, some basic, what is this, stab liner pencils. They're worth getting. There you go. These guys are amazing. Not, none of these, they're all my, they're all my, uh, they're all on my drafting table right now. So, this is, there's only two, like three in here. I almost went two. Wow. They kind of look like that. They're amazing pencils. Get them. Yeah, well, that's how much you get, though, in here for, like, I think it's, oh, there's no price on here. Yeah, there's, like, 19, I think. Yeah, they're very good pencils. This is what I use to shade. They work amazing. They go, they go up kind of fast. And then, probably want to, if you if you don't like sketching freehand, so I'd probably get out, go out and get some, uh, some tenth plates. This is how you get that full circle motion when you draw wheels, and then you just do it without it. That's how you get such good perspective. Like, you noticed, probably most of my videos is where... When I'm sketching, I don't even need one because I because I use the template so much, and then you just get the, get the flow of it in your wrist, and you got to get one of these. The uh, what is this? Um, Copic multi liner or something? SP 0.5 millimeter. A very good pen, and it doesn't the marker doesn't bleed through it and it doesn't smear. Otherwise, uh, what is the rollerball right there? 0.5. That out. It's a great pen. Even to write with, it's really, it's really clean. If you like to write or journal or whatever, it works awesome for that. I don't know. Most people don't. But it's kind of that's the that's the size of the tip. I hate using my uh, what is it? My uh, webcam. I'm not a fan of them. But it's it's easy. All right. Um, most of you guys have probably heard of Prismacolors. For those of you that haven't. They are just, oh, they're amazing markers. Love them. Uh, I would really suggest getting them, but the price, the price is kind of high, so... I don't know. They're about, I got these on sale for about, like, 40 bucks. I don't know. But, yeah, the, the, it's kind of old package, package, but... Um, yeah, Prismacolor markers. Uh, there's about 12 in here. This is the, what, French Grey. Yeah, so um, twelve bucks, and they kind of kind of look like this. Uh, there's one in here. Here we go. Kind of look like this. You got your Prismacolor. Got your got your broadside. Here you go. Here's a. It's like um, it's like a watercolor, and uh, it's like a wood-based marker more, so it blends. Unlike Crayola, Crayola doesn't blend; it bleeds kind of more. It's not as water-based. It comes out more stiff, like bold. I don't know, but this is the fine tip. It's, ah, okay, great. I want to suggest getting the French gray. It comes out kind of brown, so I'd go with. I have this is a this is what a warm gray marker looks like. Yeah, so this is a newer version. They have this new cool little uh, graphic on here. This triangle graphic thing. I don't know if you guys like Base Hunter, but I kind of like it, so that's good. Yeah, when I draw, I mostly listen to like uh, rave. Heck no, do I got any more on here? Uh, not on this one. Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, Bass Hunter is amazing. DJ, any DJ guys? Yeah, there. Just get, look up Techno on YouTube. DJ Techno, I think it is. He's he's good. He's awesome. Got a text. All right, and then for books. Okay, this is um, that image out of there. This is an old book I've had for probably about two or three years. And then I had the one before this one, which I had about three or four, so it adds up. Um, this is a uh, How to Draw Cars Like a Pro by uh, what's his name? What's this dude's name? Uh, Taylor something? I don't know, Tom Taylor or something like? No, not Tom Taylor. He makes Hot Wheels. Um, but um, yeah, this book is amazing. This is how I got all of my uh. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is how I get my marker reflections so good. By uh, check that out right there, this guy. So that's how I do my uh, marker stuff. Is from this good inspiration for uh, marker re-endering. If you're interested in that, I don't know. 
got some got some uh, tutorials in here, some uh, steps on how to how to do stuff. Like uh, you got your basic. This is uh, exactly what I do, almost, but without the chuck. This is your outline. You go take a take a black, and then you go back with some color underneath, and you add in some. Uh, and then you add in some more black over on the orange, and then it gives it like a like. Well, it's not all black though. You can see that it's um. You got some. Uh, it's hard to see what I'm doing, but uh, you got some gray in there. You got some black. You got some dark or an orange color. But yeah, it's just a, like a little walk through here, and then shows you the next page on how to make it shiny. It's how like most people, their back wheel it's all destroyed. It. Like it's all. It's all like up in one corner, like it's, it'd be like all up here, you know. It'd be like it looks, it looks kind of weird. So I'd get this for like wheels and stuff. So it teaches you. And you got like your finished one, which is kind of looks like mine, I guess. They use a, tend to use a lot of guidelines. So I don't know, maybe you start ending up using a lot of guidelines. So this is just like cotton pads to use a chalk on this. So that's that's how they got that so clean. Uh, it's just. Beautiful. I love hot rods. I'm a hot rod guy also. So I draw cars for people. So it's kind of what I do now. It's almost a living, but yeah, you got oh, the Camaros. Oh, he doesn't love those, right? Yeah. Cars are just just amazing. Once you start drawing cars, I think you just end up like loving them or something. I don't know. It's just it's like a drug, you know. Like when you start drawing a lot, you just can't stop. You guys know what I mean? It's, it's crazy. I made an older tutorial a long time ago. Uh, the camera is terrible. Like the lighting, I saw that it was, it was so blurred. It's just like, man, I need a new one up. So it's my uh, how to drop car volume two, I guess. How to drop cars that are pro. I don't know. Copy their title, right? Well, it looks like I got a little mustache on the camera, but oh well. Who cares, right, guys? Um, I mean YouTube, YouTube fans, whatever. If you're not a fan, that's okay. You don't have to be a fan. I will I always say subscribe, but you never have to. I'm just like, pfft, I'll subscribe anyway. So, yeah, um, I'd recommend getting uh, How to Draw Cars Like a Pro. What is this? Volume two? Sec no, it's second edition. My bad. Sorry about that. Amazing book. Um, what else do I got here? Oh yes, yeah, uh, this is like not even half of my mark collection. I got. Okay, these are all Prisma colors. They're each um, four bucks a piece, almost. We got like handfuls of this in here. Look at that! Oh, so much money going to markers. So, well, I got a couple of renderings here to show you guys too. But um, I uh, photocopy them at Kinko's, so it makes it look nice. You got that nice glossy paper here. I'm getting like, some paper. This is what I use to get my rendering nice. And, shiny or whatever so I use this is a blick tracing paper great stuff very uh, transparent doesn't have any of the uh, texture on it or uh, anything like that this is a little little quick uh, probably two minute sketch I did it's not, not that great but you get the idea it's uh, some, kind of, some type of eraser I guess got your little guy up in there I don't know I was bored so I just drew something out Got your, I love cross hatching, it looks so nice in there. This is, yeah, this was only like a five minute little sketch. Yeah, it's mostly from that book though, like with the template I was telling you about. The wheel. See that? See the see the motion in there? But, um, yeah, and then, yeah, just when you get good, you can do like quick sketches like this. It's really fun to kind of mess around with. But, um, yeah, and then this is the, the um, this is the marker paper that, uh, Makes everything just look real. It's just, oh, it's, it's, it's awesome. So that's all I gotta say. This paper is like, you will just be blown away by uh, what is this, Kenson or whatever? I don't, I don't know. But uh, this this paper is, oh, it's just it's, it's sweet. It's a it's a little spinny though, but it's really worth it. It's, it's really smooth. It's pretty transparent too. Like for when you use a tracing paper, when you use this. Underneath here, it it shows through like you're drawing, and then you outline it, and then you go back with marker. You go from light to dark. You don't go from dark to light, obviously, because then you'll just screw everything up and it'll look flat. So I've seen that on YouTube before. Like some people.